Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back. It's Dr. Red. I just wanted to do a quick podcast for you guys. I wanted to talk about something that's actually um, maybe a little faux pas to talk about. Maybe uh, it's a um, sensitive subject. I, I don't I don't really know how to approach it from that way other than just to say it, uh, it's sensitive, it is real, it is um, fragile. But I wanted to talk about uh, body dysmorphic syndrome, especially as it relates to bariatric surgery, because I think it's essential and super duper important. Um, what am I referring to? So, so body dysmorphic syndrome in general, I guess you could you could define it in a generalized way by saying um, it is perhaps a way that when you look at yourself, whether it be a mirror or in it's just kind of the subjective generalized way, the way you feel about yourself and like how you think you look, um, mostly in the literal sense, but could be a figurative sense. Um, it could be literal in the sense that um, you might weigh 120 pounds, uh, but when you go shopping and look at clothes, you look at a size 16 pants and think that those those would fit you. Um, some people would say in a literal sense, you look in the mirror and you still see um, a, a larger person. Um, and it's, you know, for someone who maybe can't understand that or hasn't thought about it, it it's a real thing that they literally can see a bigger person, or at least they don't see what everyone else might see. So as it pertains to bariatric surgery, um, this can be in the, in that exact literal sense. You could have lost a great deal of weight, but if you spent uh, 20, 30 years or plus as, uh, as a plus size person with respect to your clothing, it is a very difficult thing to walk away from that and see yourself in a different light. Uh, some people are very, very good at it, uh, so this certainly doesn't pertain to everybody. Sorry guys, we're in an airport and so you're going to get a lot of that noise. Um, but but some people have uh, varying elements of it, right? I mean, you might have a small element of it, meaning you just, you'll never see yourself as a thin person, even though you, you know everyone else around you would. Uh, or indeed, you may... Um, you may see yourself as much larger than you actually are. Now, I said that there's a literal, very much like that, and there's also a figurative. Um, the figurative kind of concept is, you know, that you'll never reach skinny enough. You know, you'll never reach a place where uh, you're not big. Uh, you will walk through a doorway and think that you're going to, you know, maybe not make it, you know, not, not squeeze through. You know, there's actually studies really neat. You, should, you could look them up. They're, they're actually kind of neat. Uh, and bariatric surgeons, you can, you can do this. And in fact, you can test this on yourself at home. Open up a door. Open up a door just wide enough to where you think you could squeeze through without touching. All right? Now, not sucking it in or anything, but just, just open it wide enough for you to squeeze through without touching the door. And then do it. And video have somebody videotape it. See how much room there is between you and the actual door. Now, funny enough, if uh, let's say that you know it was me who had bariatric surgery and I told my wife to open the door big enough for me to squeeze through, the chances are that she would accu accurately do it within probably a 20% margin. But the truth is many bariatric patients after surgery would open that door and it would be a literally a third to half or even twice as wide as it needs to be for you to squeeze through it and because they just can't get that they can't move past that and how they see themselves in a literal sense and or a figurative sense so um that's a real thing i say okay so what now that we understand what it is uh, and, and there's a fairly large population of people after bariatric surgery that have this. What do you do about it? Um, if you have the mild form, you know, where it's, yes, you know, I'll never, I don't think I'll ever be thin, or maybe I'm, I, I always, no matter how much weight I lose, and I see that I lost the weight, and I know I fit into this size 8 jeans, you know, now instead of the 16s I were in, you know, two years ago. 
But if you have the mild form of it, you understand that you're smaller, but you just never, you're never going to be happy. You can do, obviously, my favorite thing in the world to prescribe to anybody, therapy. I mean, that just certainly helps. You can practice uh, positive affirmations. You can do things like open the door every day, just big enough for you. And then when you pull the door to where it would be uh, just, just the right size for you to squeeze through, back up and take a look at it. Do those side-to-side -side photos and be faced with the reality, the actual reality. Look at the size of your pants and recognize that you are now in a, in a 10, you're in an eight, you're in a six, whereas you were in a, an 18. There are, most of us are capable of facing facts, you know, facing rational facts. Now you may say, God, I'll never, I can't believe I fit in it. This can't be, I can't fit in an eight. Uh, yes, you are. And so that's important. And of course, the, the loved ones we have uh, who, who can kind of cheer us on. And um, I think that's important from a standpoint of, you know, surround yourself with positive people uh, and a good support group. If you have more of a problem than that, right, and you just cannot see yourself as anything uh, but larger than you really are, then it's time. It's time to get some help, right? And I think that's a, that, that would uh, verge on psychological help um, and someone outside of your daily activities, right? So it's, it's nice to talk to people, right? It's good to talk to your friends and your preacher and your husband or your wife. And, um, but there's, a, there's a, a, an objective point of view that comes from actually seeing a, a licensed counselor of some sort because they are not only trained listeners... Uh, however, they are also um, giving you a, a viewpoint from someone who you maybe hasn't, have never met before. And I think that's super duper important, right? Because they've never seen you uh, when you were a, a larger uh, size or a larger person. Um, so it gives them some perspective. I mean, you can bring a photo or something, but the truth is they're meeting you now where you are, right? And, um, and I think that's important. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that because it's a real thing. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I want to just kind of bring some attention to it because people don't talk about it enough. Uh, I think that it's important to kind of bring to light and to say if you're dealing with it, it's okay. It's okay. There's options out there. Um, please chime in on this. Talk about it. Share it. And um, if someone else has some great ideas uh, or if you've dealt with this personally, um, bring it up. We'll chat about it. Anyway, you guys have an awesome day. Uh, have a blessed day, and um, I'm here in Cincinnati. Talk to you later, Gators. Have a rad day.